You know building and remodeling green matters. You build a great product with lots of awesome green features. But how do you really talk green to your home buyers? Do they think green is a four-letter word? Do your houses show what you really believe in? As trivial as this may sound, it's really important that you figure this out. Otherwise, you're just another builder selling just another house with more bling, more gizmos, and more stuff than the next builder. If you really want to stand out, you've got to sell what you believe in. You don't have to sell to anybody or everybody. You just need to find people that believe in what you do and want to be a part of it. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? Yet most of us are too scared to change from the status quo to try anything different, even if it sounds easy. You know how it goes. What if they don't like me? What if they don't like my house? I really need the business and I'll do whatever they say to get it. Anything ring a bell yet? If you don't have potential home buyers banging down your door, you're not telling your story. Trust me on this one. I did it for several years. I had a good service, a good product, and a lot of people told me so. But I wasn't selling enough, so I asked for help. And I learned that I had to share what I believe in, what I stand for. And now I want to share that with you. So how do you get started? Well, what motivates you? What gets you going in the morning? More importantly, what are you doing about it? Figure this out and you've figured out what you believe in, what your message is. It's the why you do what you do. But then you've got to tell it. Share your story. Why do you build a remodel green? Why is it important to you? Green homes often are misunderstood, but we do it to ourselves. Like everything else, when we get scared or discouraged, we don't really say what we mean. So we may never tell our true story. Then we end up not being able to accomplish what we set out to do in the first place. So we settle. What if you believed so much in what you were doing, you found a way? You found a way to get your message across to the people who will become your clients. You found a way of talking the language of green to sell more and do what you really want to do. So let's get down to brass tacks. How do you really talk about your green homes? A lot of tech talk, a lot of jargon. You know what I mean. R24 insulation, low E argon filled windows, 95% energy efficient variable speed furnaces, polystyrene panels, blown in foam insulation, house wrap, caulk, seal, tanker tankless, Dr. Duckless. By now, you've absolutely bewildered the average home buyer. And of course, they don't want to look dumb, so they just nod in agreement. Did you ever wonder how many upgrades you sell because somebody just doesn't know what you were talking about? And then they run out of money to do the things that might really matter. So what's the solution? Green is not a four letter word. First and foremost, you must talk to your potential home buyers, especially women, in a way that makes sense to them. The best way to get your message across is to talk about the relationship between the benefits your home buyers get and the features you provide. When you're talking with potential home buyers, do you mainly find yourself talking to the guys? Over 90% of the time, there's a woman involved in the sale, sole buyer, wife, partner. Even when a woman's not directly involved in the sale, there's likely one somewhere behind the scenes. Do you and your sales staff really know how to speak the language of green? especially to your women home buyers? Do you know how to make women home buyers ask you? No, beg you for more. While he may look at the numbers first in the home buying equation, comfort and convenience are usually much higher on her list. She's often the final say in the sale and she can hold the key to adding green upgrades. And she makes her decisions quite differently from him. Okay, so how do I talk to her? First and foremost, Ditch the technical jargon, she doesn't care. You've got to talk benefits, you've got to talk about what she's going to feel. Almost all buying decisions are based on emotion and this is one of the biggest decisions people make. And yet we keep avoiding the emotional side of the house. Okay, okay, so what's the difference? This feature, feature is a thing. Benefit is the emotional state the thing brings about. For example, a feature is a high efficiency furnace, but the benefit is the comfort the draft-free, even temperatures that we get in the home always lead with benefits. Features are simply the means to the end. Yes, yeah, features are important since a home buyer wants to feel educated and well-informed about what they're buying. For instance, what is it made of? How do I take care of it? But relying on the technical information about the house to sell it 
is only going to set you up to sell on a comparison basis, a comparison with your competition. The key to differentiating your homes is to sell the benefits, the emotion. Your job as the builder or remodel is to translate these features to you provide to the benefits the home buyer gains. The magic is in the translation. That makes you the magic maker. You have the key. You own it. My commitment to green is personal. Green is not a four-letter word. Helps translate and teach the language of green. HomeNav, the online homeowner's manual, is the go-to resource and done-for-you solution to bridge the language gap between green home pros and green home buyers and homeowners. Its easy-to-use format and templates help meet green certification requirements with ease. Join my free webinar to learn how HomeNav can help you sell more green homes using the language of green. Look forward to meeting you there.